We just came out of the tunnel and as you come out of the tunnel, it opens up to all of this. Pizza. Yes, it's open. Sure. It's open. Well, hello. I am super excited about today's adventure and where we are going to take you guys because today we are going to visit one of our national parks that has kind of been on my top list for a very long time and never been there before. And because we have a fourth grader this year, we have the National Park fourth grade pass, which means we get free entry into all of our national parks. So today we are going to head up to Yosemite National Park. So where we are seeing here in Visalia up to Yosemite, it's about a two hour drive there. So we're gonna be a little bit of a uh, road trip to get there, but we're super excited to be able to go check it out. I did have to go online and make a reservation. Right now, they are only letting a certain amount of people in the park per day. So you have to go online to recreation.gov and essentially make a reservation to be able to get into the park. So I uh, jumped on like the first day that they opened for reservations and got our reservation for today. And we are gonna head up and see all of the beauty that is Yosemite National Park. while we're waiting. Remember when always, that's why I always wait. bring a book because you just never, you just never know. And I mean, you know, you could always browse like Facebook or something like that. But um, you also know, never know when you're not gonna have any cell service. Like right now there is zero cell service. This is no cell service. So I'm glad that I screenshotted our reservation thing because I did that knowing we could get up here and I might not be able to pull it up in my email. So I always bring a book. And this book has been through a lot because it was in my backpack when we were hiking the Narrows and it fell in the water. So it's pretty ratty. My books hardly ever, well, they don't ever look like this except for this one got dropped in the Narrows. We're half a mile from Yosemite. I assume that where the GPS is saying is like, you know, the entrance gate. And the traffic is way backed up. And this is even with the reservation, like permit. So obviously this is one of the busier national parks. I've heard, not from personal experience, but I've heard that like getting into the Grand Canyon or some of those other parks can be the same way. So maybe let us know in the comments if you've been to Yosemite or some of the national parks where you get there and there's just like a line. But it's kind of interesting that even with the permit and even with the fact that they have said 
that the ticketed entry is going to be reduced to half of the amount of the normal visitors that they see throughout like the normal season that we're half a mile from the gate and there's still a line of cars so kind of a interesting scenario to get into Yosemite today. We just came out of the tunnel and as you come out of the tunnel it opens up to all of this which is just like breathtaking jaw dropping oh my goodness look at what's there sort of thing the falls I mean this is just absolutely the most gorgeous view behind me here where you've got the iconic rock formations and the falls and it's just absolutely a hundred percent breathtaking here at Yosemite National Park and it's a beautiful day to be up here too and if you come here to Yosemite National Park you want to make sure you plan on stopping here and just spending a few minutes taking in a lot of the you know iconic things that you think about when you think about Yosemite with the falls and with Half Dome and El Capitan you know the formations that you think of when you think Yosemite you can see them from right here and it's just absolutely breathtaking one of the things that I think is most interesting I think you know standing here and just looking at the granite walls and the waterfall is just that Yosemite has its own beauty and I think that's one of the things that we're seeing this summer as we go through the different national parks is that you know each national park has its own unique kind of characteristics from you know sandstone type of you know structures or desert or here it's just like the solid granite in the forest it's just so interesting looking at all of the different national parks that we're visiting and how each one really has something that's kind of very unique to that national park and of course iconic in its own right but it just is interesting when you look at the variation in our national park system in just the United States the variances of the different things that you see in nature so this is just a short less than a half mile little hike walk up to Bridal Veil Falls El Capitan's right behind me this is just absolutely beautiful and it couldn't be a more beautiful day to be out here it's not super hot it's just like the perfect temperature to be up at Yosemite what's up I built a rock tower back there you built a rock tower that's yeah. cool this is a super easy paved trail with beautiful views of the falls you could probably hear that water rushing over the rocks but it's just absolutely gorgeous picturesque beautiful beautiful walk we parked here on this little thing off the side of the road that just then to what the left of where we're standing here looking at El Capitan there's like another waterfall trickling down it's just absolutely gorgeous just over the waterfall. right there do you see it oh that one's big so I'm really falling in love with this national park this Yosemite village area which is in the Yosemite Valley is just beautiful Yosemite Falls is directly in front of us right now we're gonna walk and get a little bit closer but we had to stop by the Conservancy bookstore to get the kids their junior ranger books and then they do have rangers here available in person so they can turn them in today so they're super excited and working on their junior ranger books and then unlike some of the other national parks where you can download the books online with Yosemite you do have to purchase them so you can purchase them here they do have their bookstore open um, they have like a window that you can grab what you want and then they'll bring it out to you versus going in the store but you can't download the books online so you have to purchase them you can order them online or purchase them here and then get your junior ranger badges here in the park what are you doing uh, i am just enjoying this view blue skies yeah green trees and the smell of nature smell of nature could go two ways. <laughs> I filled everything out but um, just a few activities okay. and I was only supposed to do five but okay. I did way more. Well, let's I'm an overachiever. 
So I'm not gonna look through them, um, but can you show me what was the hardest page you did? The hardest? Yes. Yeah. It can be different. <laughs> the word search. Can you show me? Yes. Hold it up. Yeah. What, and why was that hard? Just because like the falcon, like the falcon one, yeah. was yeah. very oh, tricky. Okay. Like, it was like really hard to find. Ooh, do you think a bear can get into your car if it's locked? Yeah. Wait, oh yes. What do they have on their hands? Yeah. <laughs> they can go <laughs> So bears can break into your car, they can break into your house. Once a bear learns to get people food, yeah, would I'll you rather be eating marshmallows or ants? Yeah. Like straight in the marshmallows. <laughs> right? Bears are kind of the same. And so if a bear learns that, oh, all I have to do is look scary and people will run away and I can eat their food, then we just train that bear to look scary and act scary. And that's not what we want to be training our bears. That's how we make a big problem happen. That what problem would never have happened if they were just eating ants and not marshmallows. Yeah. So it's definitely, it's, it's protecting them, even though you, you usually think like, oh, let's protect an animal and give it food. Not bears. <laughs> you guys are really lucky because what is in those waterfalls right now that will not be here in two months? Water. Crazy. What? So, bridal oil fall actually does keep flowing all year. Yosemite mm. Fall, that big one right there, yeah. if you come back in two months, it will be dry. <laughs> totally dry. Because where does that water come from? Oh, it comes from the mountains. And what's up in the mountains? Yeah. Snow. Snow. And right now that snow is melting and it's melting and it's melting and it's melting and it's melting. And, it's melting. and when it is gone, we get no more waterfall. So good job on timing. What do you think happens if there's a year when we don't get a lot of snow? Um, there's not as much. Um, Water. Water. Yeah. We only got 50% of our normal snow this year. What? So why is like the rock black? Like when we went to like the waterfall, the rock was completely black. Good question. Do you see up on that cliff that there's some stripes that are different colors? Is it, yeah. I can't actually, I don't know how easy it is to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah can you see it all? Yeah. Different yeah, colors kind of. in the rock? Yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, there's stripes. The granite around here tends to be, there's some variation, but pretty much the same color. It's not like there's some granite that's white and some granite that's black here. So what else could make those stripes? If it's not the rock? Water. What color is water? <laughs> well, you know the answer to that question. There's several Blue and white. Pretty much see-through, right? Yeah. yeah so water isn't the water alone doesn't make the rock black, but you're half right. Is it weathering? So what happens if you take some dirt and pour water on it? What it, might happen to the dirt? Oh, so it's like um, so it's dirt. So it's like dirt on the mountains, but huh? then the water gets but then the water gets poured on it and then it just <laughs> So it's not right dirt. It's when you put water on stuff, sometimes things start to grow. Wait, what? It's plants. It's actually lichen. Lichen is a fungus and a plant put together. So if you've ever seen a rock with some splotches and patches mm -hmm. and some kind of leafy looking gray stuff on it, oh, that's oh, lichen. lichen. And there is so the kind of lichen that grows on rocks and kind of looks like tiny little gray plants. Yeah, yep. but nothing Maybe like you raise your right hand. Okay. As a Yosemite Junior Ranger, as a Yosemite Junior Ranger, I promise, I promise to learn about. Yeah, to learn about, about to learn to <laughs> or to explore, uh, explore, and protect, and protect Yosemite National Park, Yosemite National, National Park, Park, and all wild places, and all wild, wild places, places, wherever I go, wherever, wherever I go. go. Congratulations, guys! Give each other a high five. <laughs> Nicely done. Let me get your badges for you. Sweet guys, good job. So what we have here is your Junior Ranger badge and a patch that you can sew on or iron on to your backpack or your vest. Yeah, yeah. Our mom is gonna get us vests. Nice. Yeah. You got your Junior Ranger badge. And it's wooden. wooden. We're walking down the path to go to the lower like, Yosemite yeah. Falls, which I am in love with this Yosemite Village area. It is so cool. Like the cabins and they have a lodge and just everything that they have in this area. I don't know, it just, it feels kind of like old timey maybe in a little way where people are walking and people are biking and you're out in the middle of the mountains and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm 
loving it's beautiful. this yeah. national park. It's definitely one of my new favorites yep. that's on the list. I'm really glad that we put this on our list, even though it's a couple of hours from where we're staying. And we'll still have a couple of hours to drive back to get back to the rig tonight. This is amazing. Breathtaking. It was breathtaking. I mean, when you come out of the tunnel and you hit just that, they call it the tunnel view, it's just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm trying to. And I think it's interesting, you know, we were talking about it, that it seems like that the national parks that we have visited in the last month or so, what we've come to realize is that a lot of them, you know, when you get to the entrance and you go through the booths or whatever they have at the entrance, it's that's usually not the good part, other than Zion National Park <laughs> on the Springdale side. Right. But it's like you have to drive a ways to get into the really good areas. Yeah. And like even coming up here, it's like we've been driving and driving and driving and I'm like, I hope this is worth it. Go through the tunnel and then- And then all of a sudden you're like, it's all worth it. <laughs> so it was just amazing. And it's definitely a national park you need to put on your list. If you're gonna do it this year in 2020, you need to make sure you go to recreation.gov now and get your reservation for the day you wanna come because I'm sure it's gonna go fast because this is absolutely wonderful. Well, you know it's been a pretty good day when everyone's zonkered out in the back. So we are in this cute little town of Hanford and we actually drove over here because I saw another YouTube video from another YouTuber called Three Little Trees. Shout out to them. We went in to check this place out because supposedly they have got some pretty stellar ice cream. So we are gonna find out if that is the case. It's only open for takeout right now. There's no indoor seating. It would be really cute if there was. If the line is any indication how good this place is, I think that we're in for a treat. I would have really, really loved to sit here because it's like pink and it's old fashioned and oh, I just want to sit here so much, but I can't. Mm, it's so sad. So these are really big scoops of ice cream. What is it? One regular we watched him put in like five scoops is a regular so because they're not offering look at this this is a regular like literally this is five scoops of ice cream in one cup mm. we're gonna share it because there's no indoor seating right now we just walked right across the street to kind of this old town area to find a place to sit in the shade as luck would have it, it is 102 degrees today in this area of California. And our main air conditioner for the front of our rig decided to give up the ghost two days ago. We have a new one coming from PPL Motorhomes, which here is a tip for you. PPL Motorhomes has been great to work with and they have um, answered pretty much all of our questions that we've had in ordering this new AC unit. And we are having it shipped to us, um, actually to a, a, one of my cousin's house that is in the area where we're going to be next after this here in California. So thankfully, I have a cousin <laughs> that's in that area to where we could have it shipped to his house. And hopefully he can help Ben haul it up to the roof too, because it's gonna be over 100 pounds. So anyway, 
We're just gonna sit in the shade here and cool off a little bit. It was too hot to stay at the rig. The boys needed haircuts. So we decided to just get out for a little while, even though today was going to be more of a rest day slash work day for us um, because it was just starting to get a little intolerable in the rig with just the rear AC on a day when it's 102. Um, you really almost need both ACs. And of course the campground we're staying in, there's no shade um, where we're at in our particular site. So this will be a nice welcome treat to sit and cool off, eat some ice cream, beautiful little downtown area that we'll probably just take a little walk in here and um, just enjoy the rest of the day now that it's cooling off a little bit before we go back to the rig. What do you think of the ice cream? It's really good. It, it being from a dairy, makes it that much better. <laughs> so, and then I just noticed that right over here is a certified farmer's market that's going on. So after we finish our ice cream, I'll definitely be wandering over there and uh, getting us some fresh produce. So it's one thing we wanted to do while we were in California is enjoy the fact that there's so much that's farmed here and grown here that we could get some local stuff. Plus it really evens things out. It makes you feel less guilty you go get some fruit and veggies <laughs> after eating this ice cream. <laughs> Small carousel here in this kind of town square area, which of course is closed right now, but it's so cute and so quaint. I'm just really falling in love with this little town of Hanford because it's just like, it feels so nice. Yeah, it feels so 1950s, you know, it's just super cute and super quaint. Organic fruits and vegetables. Oh my goodness. Eggplant. Wait, mom, is this and peach? green beans. Mom, mom, mom. I'm getting the just the cheese, please, with the white mix. There's cheddar, white mix, or vegan, and I choose white mix. They have all sorts of different quesadillas with all sorts of interesting looking things inside. Now, since we went to In N Out earlier, I got the protein style. Um, and I was the one who didn't eat because I don't like it. She doesn't like In N Out. I don't know what's wrong with her. Oh. I heard that. So we're getting a case of DA. I don't like that. Oh, mm, this looks this looks exactly like um Qdoba. <laughs> mm. Good. I'm excited. I know I am too. I've never had a like, blue off. Yeah. It's gonna be something new. I I haven't had it. So it's smooth and it smells like plum. <laughs> I'm about to try it. I'm scared. Mmm. <laughs> looks juicy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Is it good? I think I'm a Pua guy. Taste. Let me see it. Mm. It's just so good. Wait. Can I finish the rest though? Because I really, mm. really like it. It is really good. Can I just get a five pound bag sure. of the oranges yeah. and some Pua? What are you getting now? Green beans. Mm. Bag, of green beans. bag of green beans. It's dedicated in memory of those from Hanford who gave their lives to protect our liberty. Greater love hath no man than this, that he lay his life down for his friends. And that's from the Bible in John chapter 15. Very cool memorial. <laughs> There's a step there. Rotate the cannon to the left side. Okay, left, left side. I know, Mom, 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 I fire. fell from that step too. Mom, don't worry, I fell from that step too. Glad to know I'm not the only one. All right, I think we got him, guys. Wait, who did we get? The people who. So I see a white flag. flag, they surrendered. Wait, what's a white? Victory! Whoa. The boys are geocaching. I'm using the restroom. I'll go see if I can find my own geocache in there. 